Hey crypto fans, welcome to CCS Cryptocurrency State. My name is Santiago Amer, web developer and investor. And in today's video, we are going to cover the Zeta chain airdrop. I'm going to show you step by step how to do it. This is not a new airdrop, but I just updated everything to the date. And I'm going to tell you step by step how to get everything here. Many things are not working, guys, so it's a little frustrated. But if you try to do the same that I am doing, you probably are going to have good results on this. And also, like I always, I will put the link on the description for this Google Sheet. So you can go directly into what I am showing right now here and go and do every steps that you can do to get more possibles for this airdrop. So it's six step, but you need to stay with me step by step on this. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications. And without anything else, let's go into it. Guys, Zeta Chain is a blockchain for a multi-chain future and is the only decentralized blockchain and smart contract platform built for omni-chain interoperability. So basically what they want to achieve is to be able to trade and move funds from any blockchain to any other blockchain. This is very important for the ecosystem. You, you can see interesting information about the project in the website. And we are going to go step by step on the application, how to get everything here. And if you see here on Zeta documents, Zeta chain that's documents, you can see that they explain what is Zeta and what will be the purpose of the token. So we are sure here that it's going to be a token, but they have been denying the, the airdrop, but I really think they are going to do an airdrop. And why is that? It's because for the testnet, you have Zeta points according of what you do on the testnet. So if you test a lot of things, you will get more Zeta points and why you will want to have the points and know who is the best testing your application and who is not. So if you put some points to know what person, what wallet is testing more and helping the ecosystem, of course it's because you want to do an airdrop. So probably if you get more points, you will get more airdrop or at least the possibility to be eligible for the airdrop. So I really think we are going to have an airdrop and there's no official data yet, so I think you should try it. And before going to the step by step, if this is your first time watching my video in this channel, I recommend you to subscribe and like the video because I have been doing the best airdrops possible on YouTube, explained step by step with all my spreadsheets here that I will share with you in the link of the description. So please follow me at Crypto C State. You can see my last videos are for the SWE free airdrop. This is completely free. Dito airdrop, layer zero, Starnet, Arbitrum, Seek I Think. I also did for Optimism, the Optimism 2, which is a very important airdrop. And the Seek I Think is still hot. So guys, follow me here. Watch the other videos if you already are subscribed. And now let's go to the step by step. So guys, like I mentioned, this is not an easy airdrop. This video took me a lot of time to put in together. But for this, you are going to know to need three testnet working. The Ethereum Garlic, the Polygon testnet, and the Binance Smart Chain testnet. So in order to get the Ethereum Garlic activation, you can see this YouTube video, a link that I found. But basically, you need to go here into your MetaMask. You go to Advanced, to Settings advance and down here you need to go to this section that says show test networks and click on once you get that in on you will see the garlic network here so click there so you can connect to the garlic test network and for the polygon test network is called mumbai and for the binance smart chain test net it's called binance smart chain test you can go to chainleads.org click this button to enable the test nets and now you can search here Polygon and you can connect to the Mumbai, add it to the MetaMask. Here you have the official RPC, everything. Click Approve. Now look for BSC and here Binance Smart Chain Test. You can click here Add to MetaMask, Approve it. So now in your MetaMask, you can see that you have your Binance Smart Chain Test, your Mumbai and down here Worldly Test Net Network. So that is the point one. You first need to have the three wallets in your MetaMask. 
The second point is you need to be connected to a Ethereum garlic. So now move to Ethereum garlic testnet. And from here, you need to click this link. This link, it will lead you to the Zeta chain application, but using my referred link, which it will give me points for the testnet. So if you appreciate my content, please use the link. It's free for you. Doesn't give me money itself, but give me points of the testnet. So click here on the link and you will be sent to the application. And there you will need to validate your account with a Twitter account. So to, for doing this airdrop, you need a Twitter account. And this will help the project that not many people have many multiple Twitter accounts. So they are ensuring that only real people is going to be able to, to get the airdrop at the end. So you need a Twitter account. If you don't have Twitter in crypto space, you really need to have it because for airdrops and many things, Twitter and Discord is essential. And once you are there, you are going to click a button that says request assets to receive tokens. So you are here on the application. I am already verified with my official Twitter account here. And here you will have a button. I already clicked that button. So now I am seeing this that you need to get the request once per day. But guys, pay attention to this because you are not going to receive these tokens. Right now, there are problems here on the testnet that you are not going to receive any Zeta token. I already went into Discord. I asked about that and there's no official reply why this is not working. So in order to do this video, we are going to use Ethereum garlic because right now you cannot get Zeta tokens. Anyways, you can check it there. Once that you did that, you need to go to here, lead board. And here you can see the information of my account. But if it's your first time, you are going to click in a button that says, like says here, confirm wallet. This is the point three. And you will see your total Zeta points here. That you can see here, I have 11,000 Zeta points on this account. I did two transactions and this was just created yesterday for the purpose of this video. And for what is this points is going to serve you? Like you can see here, the points is something that you are going to accumulate. And from my perspective, that will help the team for the airdrop. But basically you have 5,000 points if you invite a new member with your code. So use the link on the description so you can help me. So go using this link to be here the first time so you can help me. Then you are going to have 1,000 points for each daily transaction that you do and 250 for each transaction that the person invited does. And well, here you have some more information about the points, but basically it's like the rank that you are in terms of testing the application. So now let's go to the point four. Now that you are logged in, you can go to swap. And here you can see that I am connecting to Warlick and I can here connect it to another networks like Binance Smart Chain Testnet, Polygon Mumbai or Clayton Bagupop that we didn't install it. We are going to use the first three. So here I want to move, for example, Warlick Ethereum. And in the other network, I want to select, for example, Polygon. You can select any one that you want and I will put Zeta tokens. And here I will put 0.0 five for example and it tells me that it, i'm going to receive 0 0.71 zeta tokens in my polygon network remember all these network are test net you don't need to put any real money here so if you don't have any ethereum on your garlic account you can see that i have 0 0.14 what you need to do is go and test these links that i put here the ones that are with green, it's just working me yesterday. Actually, this one was the best. You can earn 0.03 each time that you click it. It's not one time per day. So you can refresh your page after you receive it and do it again. That way I got the 0.13. And these other ones, you can click it one per day and it will give you also Ethereum and Garlic Network. These two are not working me, but just try any of these links until you get at least 0.05. So you can do one swap. Remember, the maximum is one swap per day and that will give you 1000 points. So once you do 0.4, you also can do 0.4b, which is you can get Matic test token from this link. 
you go to mumbaifaucet.com instead of having ethereum whirling you are going to have matic tokens for example here you will see that you can get one matic token with that link so you can also trade for example polygon mumbai using that network matic for Sita in another of the networks in my case again i am here because i already have my whirling ethereum i will click review order and click swap confirm the transaction and now guys you can see this is really really slow it says that it could take eight minutes for the confirmation but basically this goes from Whirling to Sita chain and from Sita chain from Polygon Mumbai so we are bridging and swapping between different networks and different coins here you can see and wait for the confirmations and sometimes this because this is testness guys so be patient sometimes these swaps doesn't work and you may lose the Guerli Ethereum that you use it so you need to try again the, the swap you can see here that says there's already three out of four confirmations on Guerli so you need to keep waiting now it's in the processing of the transaction on Sita chain and guys you can see this didn't work you go to the link here and the transaction failed so I will try to do it again click try swapping again and I will try swap for another coin for Matic instead of Theta click swap so I will try it again this time with Ethereum into Matic instead is to Theta now I am waiting again for the transaction well guys the destination tax failed again so maybe a, a problem right now but some hours ago I did a transaction I don't know why it is not working here but please try to get a transaction at least because that is what you are going to need here make transactions but again all the fault is here on the project is this is not really stable so I recommend you to go to discord and be tuned there in order to see what's happened you have here the testnet feedback section where you can ask and see everything about the functioning or not of this network but many people have errors and connections and everything remember that these airdrops are all in testnet so you really need to be up to date with what happened here so it's not something that you are going to just do it today and you are going to forget about it but because they have this pointing of the account I really think that they are doing this in order to get information for the airdrop so again you can see anyway the files of the transaction also counted as a transaction even if, if I didn't get the points for that but try again after some time to do a transaction anyways let's assume that I was able to do a transaction I will go to point six now which is that you can you need to get your two NFTs on Galax campaign working on the testnet you need to go to the Galax campaign the link is there in the description Arbitrum has this, Optimism has this, Galax.com has been one of the multi-directors of communities for airdrops so you can go to the link on the description and there's two that you can do first you need to be connected into Polygon network so connect into Polygon these are the two things that you need to do the, to get the two NFTs I already have it so I am not going to do it right now but basically you need to set your Twitter to participate like you did it with the account now you set it here so you connect your Twitter here once that you connect your Twitter you connect to Discord and once that you connect it to both of these you are going to be able to click here on a button that says verify and verify and after some minutes you are going to see this button that says claim once you see that button that says claim you can click it and you will get an NFT this is the first NFT which is the Sita supporter and then you need to go and claim the Sita supporter on this core role in the Sita chain guild so do go and do that and the second NFT is this the Omni chain Sita swap in order to get this one you need to connect into Twitter or Discord again connect to both of that and you need to have a swap done on the testnet at the app so once that you are able to get the swap here you are going to be able to get go here and also verify and claim this NFT I already did that 
in another account that I am not using for the videos. That is why I cannot really show you that here, but it's super easy, just how I explain it here. And you can see the dates here for the claimable per period. This is started the 24th of October, so this is started just three days ago, and it will be the end, it will be on January 1st. So try to do it as soon as possible, as soon as you can start doing transactions. And for the other, for example, Omnichain Matic Swap, you can see the claimable period is uh, on January of 2023. So this is not open yet. But basically it will be that you'd use the swap on Polygon. But because it's not started, you cannot be eligible to get this NFT. So right now you can have the first two NFTs very easy once that you do a swap. So guys, sorry that I couldn't show you here the swap transaction and because each time that it fails, you is also using the Xi Ethereum. So I need to go and get more of that in order to test this again. But I already put all the links how you can get the Ethereum faucet because the Zeta faucet is not working. You cannot get Zeta tokens from the application, neither from the Discord because the point five was that that you can get Zeta tokens on the Discord if you put this Zeta Faucet drip and your address. You can see that here. You go to Zeta Faucet and you can see that everybody, everyone is putting Zeta Faucet drip and the address, but it says that it's sending it, but it's not actually receiving anything. So test it anyways in case that you are able to get it, but right now you cannot get Zeta tokens. Guys, that is all for the video. These things, it will happen on my videos. Not always everything is working, but you have the step by step, guys. You need to try this tomorrow and the day after tomorrow again. You have this Google Sheet free to use every time that you want, and you have this video. So when you see this video first time, it's not working everything. Just try the next day and go to Discord and ask there if something is not working. And please again use my referral link here to make your first transaction or to onboard into the application. That helps a lot. Guys, that is all for Zeta Chain. I will keep my eye on this and make another video if there are some updates. And if I see that something here is working or any update, I will put it in Twitter. That is important why you need to follow me in Twitter at Crypto C is tight. So you are up to date with everything that I post there. And don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, click the bell to get the notifications, and I will see you in the next airdrop video. Bye.